Texas. Yeah, moved to uh, Springtown, Texas. It was kind of a, well, not really a last minute thing, right? Like, we'd, we'd been talking about it for a while, but there just really wasn't a way to uh, coordinate it with my wife's work and, and what I was doing. And uh, finally, things just kind of lined up and it worked out for both of us. So we decided to pull the trigger and, and now we're here, which was fantastic. It actually works out a lot better for me because, you know, coming from Alabama, it's a, it's a small, big area. It, it, that's kind of hard to explain, but the bodybuilding side of things is not that, not that large over there. And so whenever we moved over here, the intent was uh, to get a little bit more exposure for myself and um, especially as a coach too. And I think people will, what's the word for it? Like they, they value that product more over here than they do over there, just because that community is so small over there. And over here, you know, like, you know, bodybuilding is everywhere, especially around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And so it's, it just made sense for us to move over here, um, you know, with her work, being a firefighter, you know, me as a bodybuilder and a full-time coach as well. Yeah, I mean, it just worked out better for both of us that way. I love competing, but I also love progress too, and I like placing well. And so my my pro debut and a few other shows after that, you know, I was always consistently placed in the top five. You know, fourth place being a, a pretty average placement. And you know, I just got tired of placing you know fourth place every single show. And so I took a year off in uh, 2022 in order to grow. And then I jumped into New York that following year, last year, and I ended up placing third. So I moved up a placement there, and. I feel like that really benefited me, just taking that time off. And um, so that's what the plan was, you know, after New York and Atlanta last year, you know, obviously the, the size is what's different for me to everyone else in the 212. Um, I think my structure is, is pretty dominant because I'm a little bit taller, and, but I'm also really light too. So it makes me look a little bit bigger when I'm on stage. And I'm way under the weight cap, so I've got a lot more room to grow in that. So it just made sense to, if I'm placing third, fourth place, to just take another year off and just try to put on as much size as I can. And uh, that way I could be a little bit more competitive in the years to come. Yeah, so as far as like uh, competition wise, right? So. I'm taking this year off. Um, it it kind of worked out just because of like the move and everything and then just getting settled over here in Texas. Uh, I, had, I had originally just planned on taking this year off for just an extended off season. But um, so it just kind of worked out that we were moving at the same time. But it looks like probably sometime next year in 2025, uh, looking more at like the Toronto Pro time frame. Um, not 100% set in stone yet, but that one and I do definitely plan on competing at the Texas Pro as well. Uh, we're just trying to figure out the, uh, the time gap between those two shows because there's a pretty big gap in between. Uh, it just depends on like, you know, what show is going to work out better for us in between there. So, but uh, the plan is for Toronto Pro first and then Texas after that. Yeah, well, I mean, being a full-time coach as well, it's like uh, a lot of people, they, they want to jump into a show and they're like 12 to 16 weeks out and they've never competed before in their life. And um, it's very important to have a structured like improvement season leading into that. And so that's, I mean, that's one of the most important parts. And then leading into a prep and having that coach be able to um, figure out what's going to work for your body, uh, what foods are going to work really well, what digests the best. Um, and what kind of training is going like, to cater more towards your growth. If you just plan to jump into a show, you know, 16 weeks out, you don't really have like that base, uh, that, that structure leading in, then you're, you're kind of setting yourself for failure with that. Because uh, for one, your coach doesn't know like how you're going to react with everything uh, as far as like food wise and training wise. Uh, but you also don't have that structure from a, an off season into a prep. So you don't really have anything to go off of leading into that show. <laughs> 